options to do like week passes or like cheaper classes at other schools. Yeah, that that makes sense. Which I didn't know until like yesterday. The manager like texted me and was like, "Hi, like, are you new?" And I was like, "No, I remember." And she was like, "Okay, that's what I thought." She was like, "You don't have to pay that much." I was like, "Oh." This is in my cousin works for F45. Do I get a discount for that too? I didn't want to like ask him to book me into a class. I felt guilty. Oh. Especially since they're brand like it's a brand new studio. Um. Good morning. I am in Tennessee visiting my aunt and I'm pulling up to F45 at Berry Farms, which I think this Turn one right. then your destination will be on the west opens like very recently. Your destination so, is on the left. Is it now? Anyway, so I just pulled up to the F45. This is what it looks like. And we're gonna do a quick little lower body workout. But basically this morning I just uh, got up and tried on all the aloe yoga stuff that I had bought last week. I got it like the day before I was leaving. So I just threw it in my suitcase. Um, and I love everything I got like everything's so cute the only thing I will say is the 7 8 seamless leggings definitely run big like I got an extra small which is my usual size and I need to get the smaller size I need to get an extra extra small which is like like I'm not that tiny you guys um so I would size down if you're gonna do the seamless aloe yoga leggings but the shorts and top combo is so freaking cute like i can't wait to just wear that with like a sweater like cardigan but i'm gonna be late class starts in one minute so i will see you guys after my workout <laughs> We're in line at Starbucks. I just went to F45. I had to drop off a package at UPS because I ordered a pair of shoes from Sense that were very similar to the Proenza clogs that like Kenzie Burke and um, I forget the girl's name, but her Instagram handle is Closer Friends. If you don't follow her, she like I would follow her. I love her. Um, she's like very real. She has very cute style. She lives in Florida. And she's like my age, I think she's 30. But anyway, they have those Prenzo shoes and I had ordered them and I, at the time was like, I just don't think these are worth the money, like this is crazy. And I returned them and I fully, fully regret returning them. And I've been on the hunt for similar ones, but I haven't found any. So anyway, so I ordered those and just returned them to UPS and now we're just picking up coffee. It's early, it's 8.30. So we have the whole day ahead of us. And we've spent the last two days shopping, which is why I really haven't taken you guys with me because it's not that exciting. Like we've been at the Green Hills Mall and we've been in Franklin shopping. So I'll show you guys everything I got. I kind of want to do like a massive haul once I know exactly what I'm keeping because I didn't try a lot of things on when I was shopping. I just kind of like bought and I'm going to go through everything and try it on and um, just show you guys like what I really love and what I'm keeping but I am so excited because first of all Starbucks holiday cups are out and secondly like at least all the stores in like the Tennessee like Nashville Tennessee area are all putting out their Christmas stuff and like I'm sorry but November 1st November 1st is it's it's Christmas like fall is over and that's that and I'm oh I need to order hold on I need to order my coffee Alright, got my coffee. I got the chestnut praline with oat milk since I obviously don't have dairy. It's so good. I got it iced. I was going to go hot because of the holiday cups, but it's going to be almost 80 degrees today in Nashville, so... And I no 
know when I go back to New York, it's gonna be literally so cold. So I'm gonna enjoy this <laughs> while I can. I feel so bad that you guys can't really see me, but this is like really the only place I can put my camera right now, unfortunately. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I find it so challenging to drive around here. Like the roads are just not it for me. I have a really, really hard time. I should have had a better place to put you guys. Anyway, so we just got coffee. I'm heading back to my aunt's house. And I think today we're just gonna go for like a walk and um, enjoy like the nice weather and try to be outside. The stores in Franklin, so like I was saying, they were putting out all their holiday stuff when we were there on Wednesday and they were saying like, Friday's like opening day so um, all of the like Thanksgiving and harvest decor from like Halloween is gonna be on sale and then all of the brand new Christmas stuff is gonna be out so I think we might like go for a walk and then go over to Franklin's have lunch and stop in a couple of those stores since everything will be out so that's the plan today and like I said I'm gonna try to give you guys like a haul of everything I buy here because I'm doing a little bit of damage not that I have any right to like I really don't <laughs> but I just yeah it just is what it is <laughs> all right I'm gonna get myself back home right now because I don't know where I am From the gym, I showered, washed my hair because I hadn't washed it since Wednesday last week and today is Sunday so it was time. Um, I wanted to show you guys what I've gotten in Tennessee while I've been here and I'm actually wearing one of the shirts that I got. So this is a shirt from Free People. The Free People is in the Green Hills Mall in Nashville and while I'm showing you free people. The second thing I got is this fleece jacket. I'm gonna link everything I can link below, I'm gonna link below, which is probably most of the stuff, but this is the jacket. This is kind of the best I can do, is the windowsill. But anyway, this is the jacket. And it can button all the way up so it looks like a pullover, which is kind of nice. So I thought with leggings, this could just be really cute to throw over like after a workout to go grab like coffee or run errands. So I got this and it comes in a bunch of different colors. And there's, I'm kind of debating on, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one because I love that it's black and all my leggings are black or if I'm going to swap it out for the one that's like uh, tan instead. So we'll see. Obviously, I will keep you guys updated as I go. Now. Second thing I got is so Nordstrom Rack is actually in Brentwood, which is just outside of Nashville. And I actually went in to get these blankets. So I knew I was gonna buy some of the Barefoot Dreams blankets. And the reason I go to Nordstrom Rack is because they are so much cheaper than if you buy them in the store obviously it's like limited in terms of what you have there but they have this exact pattern in like a neutral color it's like a beige like tan oh like an oatmeal i would say it's an oatmeal color so i got this one in green and then i got one more in the like mauve rose color and i don't know if i'm going to keep both of them or if one of them is going to end up being a gift, I haven't decided yet, but since they had them there and they don't have these blankets in the actual store where I live, I wanted to grab a few. Um, and then the last thing I got at Nordstrom Rack is this Essentials Fear of God hoodie. You guys, I scored on this hoodie. 
it has a little tear in it right in the front here I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but it's like anyway there's a tear on it so it was on clearance for $25 and I feel like you can barely see it I don't know it might get worse in the wash that's the can y'all see like right here that's the tear so comment below if you think I should keep this or not but these sweatshirts are like <laughs> over a hundred dollars usually I think they're like over hundred and fifty dollars honestly and I have one in like a darker charcoal color and I absolutely love it and of course during COVID when everyone was cleaning with bleach I must have thrown it in the wash with something that I had been cleaning with and I got bleach on it and I'm so mad but I still wear it because I love it and this is the only item of clothing I got from Nordstrom Rack that I'm keeping I did buy a pair of like Vince wool trousers that were so cute because they were pull-on but they were way too big I got them in a small and I'm usually like a 24, sometimes 25, depending on the brand. But they were just too big. It just wasn't going to work out. Um, and then next door, they had a home goods. So I got some Christmas towels, which I'm kind of excited for. So this is the first set I got. And these were... I don't know how much these were. I think like thirteen dollars. Maybe. Maybe we don't know. Let's see. Ten dollars, even better. And then this is the second ones I got. So this is the other pattern. I don't like to get too tacky for Christmas. And it's very easy to do because I like love Christmas. It's like one of my favorite holidays. So I'm trying I'm trying to hold back a little bit on going like full on like red and green this year um and I love these because they feel a little bit like vintage to me so normally what I see is like the white towels that say like Merry Christmas or they have like Santa or Rudolph or like a red truck on them or something oh my god the cutest dogs are outside like with two little collies easily distracted okay so I got two towels from there and then I also got this cookie baking sheet thing from there which I need a um, pan and I actually need a loaf pan I don't I really don't need this but I still need to buy a loaf pan which I'm gonna do when I'm actually back in New York because I don't think I'm gonna find one here since t today's like our last full day I don't I highly doubt we're going anywhere that has baking pans but I thought these were so cute I want to make like little cookies and like decorate them and stuff like that so I got that and then moving on to what I got in Franklin we went to the Franklin farmers market and there's a woman who has like a dog booth and so I got Kaya this collar, and then I got her this cute little um, bandana. Because I miss my baby. She's home. She's with Rob. So that's what I got from the farmer's market. And in Franklin, there's a store called the Heirloom Shop. And I got the cutest pajamas. They're by the company Booty Lounge. It's B O O D Y. But anyway, I got these shorts. They come in a slew of colors. I just I thought the baby blue was so cute. So I got the shorts. And then I got a long sleeve shirt. And you guys, I wish you could feel this. It is so, so nice. But this is the company. You can probably find it online too. Um, but it's made from bamboo, which I'm really trying to be more sustainable, like in my shopping habits. So that was a plus for me. 
and my camera's about to die. So I'm gonna quickly switch out the battery and then we're gonna do the rest of the stuff. Okay, I wanna show you guys what I got from my favorite store because it's like the last clothing items I have. So I'm gonna move you so that I can show you the pants because I'm wearing them. But let's see, there's a light here that's not plugged in. Okay, these are Tribe Kelly sweatpants. I got them in green and I got them in a size small just so that they'd be a little bit oversized and like a little bit cozy. But I got these from White's Mercantile. If you go nowhere else, <laughs> go to White's Mercantile. There's one in Franklin. And then if you're in Nashville, there's one in 12 South. And they're both like, they're just so good. I love, love, love that store. Anyone you talk to who's been there will tell you the same thing. I've never heard a single bad thing about it. They carry Barefoot Dreams stuff. They carry um, Anine Bang. If you've been watching my channel, I really like Anine Bang like sweatshirts and loungewear. Um, they are a little pricey, but they carry a bunch of cute stuff. They have a whole like children's section of like books and toys and clothes. And then obviously they have like cookbooks, cookware, candles. I mean, it's just like a slew of <laughs> things that are just so, so good. So it's just such a fun store. I highly, highly recommend going in there. The other things I got from there are this little pouch, it's just a quilted pouch. I use these all the time. I mean, I use them for work, like I'll throw my headset in here with like my keys and all my stuff I need for work. I'll throw in like all my chargers. Um, I never leave my house without like lotion and hand sanitizer and things like that. So I'll like grab one and if I have a big bag, I'll like throw all those little things in here. But I love these bags. It, this one is by Embellish. So I'll show you guys the tag. Like how cute. I love it. I got that. And I got Kaya another bandana because I have a problem. And I miss my puppy. So I got her Oh, I see. They kind of tagged it. But it's by the Foggy Dog. And what's kind of funny about this is the store we go to in Cold Spring, the general store, has this company and probably has this exact same um, dog bandana. They probably have it in Cold Spring. But I saw this there and I just thought it was so cute. And I really want to get her fun, like, winter, Christmas things to wear. And then I also got a cookbook, which is in the other room, because I was going through it one second. I'm so excited for this cookbook. So it's called Celebrate, and it's a plant-based cookbook, and it's for basically like holidays. Um, obviously, you can use it anytime, but they kind of break it up like Easter, Christmas, Thanksgiving, like things like that. Since it can be really hard to get into the holiday spirit when you're a vegan I think that most of the meals are not plant-based obviously like if you even if you're not someone who's plant-based I just feel like this book is so amazing if you need ideas on what you can cook for friends who are or if you're just trying to kind of like eat less meat or less animal products but they have so many good ones I kind of tagged this page because I really want to make it but it's like a sweet potato um leek bake like how good does that look so i tagged a couple pages last night when i got home i wanted to kind of oh, like pumpkin pie oh my god so that's what i got from white's mercantile again if you're in nashville and you're not like someone who's going to be leaving the city go to 12 south and go to white's mercantile there and I would suggest walking down. So if you're at White's, it's like a gas station set up outside. Just keep walking down towards like Stony Clover, towards Faherty. Like keep walking down the street. There's a bunch of cute stores. There's a really good coffee shop. I think it's called Frothy Monkey. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So if you're a coffee drinker, highly recommend. There's also a Jenny's ice cream. Like who doesn't love Jenny's ice cream? They have the vegan flavors there and it's pretty much my first stop anytime i come here also i wanted to mention these sweatpants do come with a matching hoodie so if you're someone who likes matching sets it comes with matching hoodie they came in like a purple color black um and i think like a rose pink 
is what they had in the Franklin store. But obviously, Tribe Kelly's also online, so if you're not here, you can go on the Tribe Kelly website. They have really cute patterns. They had like a floral pattern that I really wanted a while ago. But yeah, highly recommend. These are so comfortable, so comfortable. I'm gonna be living in them. Um, Next store. Oh, we went in the registry, which is basically just like really fancy like cookware to be honest but they were putting out their holiday stuff and i wanted to kind of just look at some holiday plates bowls whatever obviously we're not in a place where we are going to be hosting yet but i just fell in love with these bowls These are going to be in my little holiday bowls. I'm super excited for them. And I got two of them. They were a little pricey. They were $30 each. Which. They're not the most expensive bowls. But they're definitely not like inexpensive. But I got two. One for me. One for Rob. And I just thought we could either put them out with like snacks in them. If we have people over. Or they could be like our little cereal bowls. Um, for breakfast. So I'm excited about those. And I need to wrap this up. homey stuff and if you watched our last Nashville vlog you know that this is like another store that I'm in love with there's two of them I don't know the name of the town that the second one's in so to be honest with you honest I don't remember but this one's in Franklin the one I bought a bunch of stuff from and this super cute bowl it doesn't say the company that it's made by it just says it's a reactive glazed stoneware mixing bowl with the whisk this was $22 but they just have the best like pot if you're someone who enjoys like matte um kitchenware I highly highly recommend going in there and it comes with this like adorable little whisk so you can do this for eggs, for what anything. <laughs> um, and obviously you don't have to use it only for whist items. You can use this. Uh, like I said, we always have bowls because we will put out like rice, sweet potatoes, whatever at dinner. Or like if we have people over, we need like a lot of serving dishes. And this is like a nice larger sized bowl. So love that. This is a small spoon so these were six dollars each i got a couple of these but i'm gonna try to get out of the way so it focuses on this yeah there you go it's very small it has like little speckles but again for serving or if you're someone who drinks a lot of coffee like this is nice to kind of measure out your coffee grinds um it, this can be used for so many things like <laughs> i can't even really think but yeah i got a few of these because i know that they're gonna get put to good use um love 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 oh you know what i was thinking of using this for is our salt cellar i kind of wanted to like put this in with our salt because sometimes i feel like i like i don't want to use my fingers so I think one of these is going to definitely go in our salt cellar or like next to it. It doesn't fit in it. And then the last item I got was this little honey jar. How cute is this? Like, are you kidding? And it has a little thing. I'm obsessed. Our honey, we have so many honeys because we have like 
infused honeys like we have a jalapeno one we have an edelberry we have regular honey we have tupelo honey like it's insane um we also have like a vegan honey because i do eat honey i try to make sure that the brand we get is like sustainable and it's not from like like bee farms so yeah rob's uncle actually used to raise bees and so he knows a lot of people where we live that kind of do the same thing and they are not treating the bees badly they don't like clip their wings or anything um if you have no idea what i'm talking about and you want to remain that way great if you're curious um you can kind of look up why vegans don't eat honey it, it is a little bit traumatizing it's it's horrible but this it's gonna go on my counter with some honey in it and i'm super excited because i think it's gonna go so well with our kitchen and like all of the things we have out but yeah that's the last thing i bought i did buy a few other things like i went to nordstrom's and i had got some stuff and i had gone to abercrombie and gotten some stuff but i tried it on when i got home and i'm returning it and i don't want to show you guys what i'm not keeping only because like everyone's bodies are different and people have like different preferences when it comes to their clothing and what they wear and the way it looks so i don't want to show you guys things i don't like because it's not necessarily that they didn't fit well i just they're just not my style so i will say it's in the wash right now and I didn't buy it here. I ordered it online, but Abercrombie has like these silk skirts. I'll link it down below and they're incredible and they're an incredible price point. So if you're someone who has been looking for a silk skirt to wear during fall or winter with like an oversized sweater and some cute like booties or sneakers, I think that's like such an easy, adorable look. I wore it last night to the songwriters evening in nashville at my aunt's neighbor's house but um yeah abercrombie has really 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 good ones and they're under a hundred dollars so do not buy it from Aritzia. do not go on revolve unless you really just want a certain brand or a certain quality or something but these are pretty good quality and fit at least in my opinion they fit so so well um and they have like a cute slit up the side so i will link that skirt down below because I just feel like it was such a good find. And yeah, that is my haul for like Nashville, Franklin, <laughs> Tennessee. I got a lot of stuff. This is why I drive, you guys, because people think I'm crazy, but if I don't drive, like I'm gonna be spending so much money shipping shit back that it's just ridiculous and not worth it. I don't know if I told you guys the name of the store that all that pottery came from that I got like the bowl and the spoons and stuff from, but if I didn't, it's Mercantile 1858. It's not on the main road, it's right by the train tracks in Franklin, so just as like an FYI if you're walking around you probably won't find it, you have to drive down to it, so. I mean, you can walk, it's just not like in the area of walking. And if you're there around lunchtime, we went to Gray's on Maine, which was really good. Um, my aunt likes 55 North, which is across the street. I don't love it. Um, it's just very Southern food. So if you're like fully immersing yourself in that, they do have salads. So if you're trying to do the healthy thing, they do have salads. But um, if you're trying to fully immerse yourself, they have like, I, I can't even get into it. Their menu is insane. If you go to 55 North, it's a much larger menu and a bigger variety grays the menu changes all the time so just be aware of that and um, it's just a much smaller menu but they do have vegan options
right. Just finished a workout at my aunt's complex, which is why I look like this. <laughs> and we're gonna head back. I'm gonna shower. I need to do some computer work and I'm supposed to be leaving here tomorrow. And I wanna try to get out of here kind of early so I can make some headway back to New York tomorrow. So yeah, it's like 8.15 cause the clocks went back. So that is 